Hey guys, it's Serena, and I just watched The Blair Witch. Actually, no, I watched it yesterday, but that's still pretty recent, right? But anyway, so The Blair Witch, the new one, 2016, the official sequel. Wow, I have to say, I really liked it. I thought that movie was a lot of fun. It's definitely a go see -er. I saw it during matinee with a bunch of people, just in case. But it was well worth it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'd have to say the cinematography of it was beautiful. Like I thought they, the found footage, they did a good job with it, like modernizing it. Cause you guys remember the original? Dude, I saw the original in theaters when I was a lot younger. And you remember like the found footage, like the shaky, the like the character complex, like everything was just out of order, totally crazy. This one has that. It doesn't have the same, I guess, feel as the first one because when the first one came out, that was so unreal. Like that was like the new thing, you know? Like they found this footage. Like it was just a totally different type of subgenre of horror. So props for them. But this one, they did a good job for the sequel, I have to admit. Some parts are a little bit overacted for found footage quality filming I like. I usually like I kind of like bad acting, like not overacting, but I like the bad trashy acting. I don't know, but um, they're like actors are fairly young as you guys know. So the plot to this one is, you guys remember Heather from the original? I'm hoping, I'm sure you guys have seen the original. If not, you definitely should see that one before you see this. But in the first one, you know, the three people go missing. Well, this is 20 years later and the brother to Heather, the female in the first film, decides to look for her because he finds somebody gives him some footage that he thinks he sees his sister in so you know he gathers some people out and they go camping in Burkittsville I mean Maryland whatever that's only like two hours away from me by the way so <laughs> that kid saw I was filming he just like cheesed out when he rode past me anyway <laughs> that was kind of cute I'm sure he's gonna like drive back around now but, um, cause I'm in my car. Anyway, God, what was I saying? That kid threw me off. Kids. I don't know. Something about, I don't know. The fit. Oh, the plot, just the plot, like what they're doing. They're going in the woods, you know, yada, yada. They're looking for Heather. Why? I don't know. 20 years later, he was only four when she went missing. I guess it just always stuck with him. Actually, I'd probably go looking too. I don't know, I'm one of those weirdos that would be out in the woods looking for the Blair Witch. Um, there were some parts in the film that I did not like. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. I'm thinking about making a spoiler alert, a spoiler like review later on when more people have seen it. It's still too fresh right now, but there's definitely some parts in there that I thought they could have taken out. I don't know. There's it's it got a little almost like too too corny maybe some of the stuff they added I'm like what and then there was some plot twists that they could have intensified and made it more of like a mental fuck horror if you know what I mean like ah oh, I want to say the ending but I don't I'm gonna wait it's fun though it's definitely overall a fun movie minus those weird scenes that I was like what what's going on but overall it's a lot of fun I, I do have to say it's I would definitely give it a four out of five skulls I don't want to give it, I don't like giving high skulls, like some people rate things out of like tens and whatnot, that's too many. I like them by skulls, so if I have ten skulls, that's like a massacre, you know what I mean? Let's stick with five. So four out of five, definitely. It's a lot of fun, definitely worth seeing. Definitely if you're a Blair Witch fan, head out there, see it in theaters, that's the best way to see it. I will warn you though, the first one you guys remember, it's freaking shaky because remember reality found footage cameras yeah, yeah. shaky almost like you get kind of nauseous in some of the scenes and it's not because i'm getting older it's because of the angles the camera angles in this they actually have a drone they use a drone it's cool because they modernized all the camera technology we have like they have earpieces regular cameras fancy nice cameras that i should probably invest in and a drone, well, they use the drone and you see the footage from the drone, but ooh, when that thing's going up, I don't know, man, it made me kind of sick. 
uh, I was surprised. So definitely take maybe some nausea medicine or some headache medicine if you're prone to headaches. I'm prone to migraines. And someone earlier, big old geek, yes, you, know, you said to take some headache medicine before you went in. Very good tip. I recommend that to everybody. Take some headache medicine if you're prone to headaches because you will come out there with a freaking headache. Just because of how much screaming is happening, running, it's freaking dark and you can't see. So you're like squinting on the edge of your seat trying to see, even though there's nothing to see. I don't know. But it was a lot of fun. Overall, great movie. Definitely see it. And this is just a quick review. I just want to let y'all know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.